SpongeBob style. <laughs> the <laughs> Put them on right, straight up, dude. <laughs> SpongeBob this style, guy, yo. This guy's just they were chilling. bumping. This guy's really chilling though. I think a piece of his foot just came off. Footloose. Oh man, Footloose, straight up. So, Facts. all right, man. This is Bobcast. Yo, Bobcast. We're here. We're recording. We're live. We're giving you the forecast on Bobcast. Yeah, this is the forecast. That should be a segment. Bang. Bro, yes. We're just segment. making We have too Big many. Facts. We can't put too us... many ideas. So Too much creativity. So in I met this dude um, through a mutual friend, Jason. Uh, shout out Jason. Jason. This is the second podcast I've gotten from him. The from second Jason? guest. Yeah. Who's the first one? Um, Mike Moore. Mike Moore? You know him? He's a Michael Moore from Williamstown? He's, uh, no, I think he's from here. He's a music producer. I know a he's Mike a Moore from Williamstown. Oh, he does yeah. karate. I think he's a black belt and some shit. Well, well shout, shout out to, to that Mike Moore, too. Yeah, he goes like... Shout out to <laughs> all Mike Moores right now. Facts. Um, just as a general shout out. But yeah, so regardless of that, I uh, got I met you through him. You guys are taking pictures. Um, I got some nice shots. Class. Yeah, for the, for I saw LinkedIn. Them. Yeah. Um, and, you know, people can go on my Instagram or my LinkedIn and see them there. Pretty dope. And uh, you take some shots, too. You got a nice camera um, for yeah, your class yeah. and stuff. But I had to... Dude, the requirement was I didn't need a five hundred dollar book, but I needed a seven hundred dollar camera. It didn't have to be seven hundred, but I was like, if I gotta get a DSLR, you know, you might as well ball. get one that I'm gonna use for a while. Yeah, you gotta you, you ball, dude. If you're gonna get a nice camera, you Stay might as well get decent. A little bit. Yeah, you got yeah. to. And well, that's a good transition too. We're gonna be talking about some savings um, in this podcast. But basically, I was Jason was like, yeah, you know, like. He does uh, stocks and investments, and I'm like, all right, that's right up my alley. Um, that's what she so, said. So, yeah, and true. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that was the fact, man. Facts, let me get my notes up. Take some shit. Down what, are you prepared? There. No. Me either. Unprepared podcast. Episode you know, one. if I think of some shit throughout during a different time, well, this is a recording, down real so you're also gonna have a recording of the whole thing. Oh, but true, I understand what you're saying. Regardless, um, we're here, and we're here because we talked, and we ended up basically automatically within talking for like 25 minutes, collaborating on business things. Not even like 15 minutes, just automatically being like, "Oh, you can do this for me." Oh yeah, yo, we should work together, and then here we go. I got this that third. You got this that third. Let's combine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So tell people what you do now, and then I'm going to backtrack. Right. So right now, you know, I go to Stockton for accounting and finance, but um, I've picked up a lot of stuff throughout reading. I've become a big reader this year. I've been trying to do the 52-week book challenge. It's like a book a week. I've been keeping up on it barely, but, you know, I, I do audiobooks audible. Me so, too, like, when yeah. I'm driving or something, it's usually podcast or when I'm roaming down hallways. Not in the morning, so that show will put me to sleep in, like, uh -huh. a heartbeat. But, yeah, so I started reading books and stuff, and, you know, I was looking into this, that, third. You know how you always get those clickbaits, like, turn $1 into, like, $200, this, that, third, stocks, Forex trading? You know, I looked into that, you know, through some money to the wrong people. Yeah, I have, And I learned I the hard way that that's not how it goes, you know, building wealth through investments in stocks for you know retirement or whatever your future goals are it's a slow and steady process mm -hmm. if it's you know it's not exciting i think warren buffett said that if it's exciting then you're doing it wrong if it was either him or charlie munger or somebody one of the visionaries one of them but yeah that's how it all started and um last year i was like i first started investing last year like legit in the market and, you know, I was starting out with, like, low funding and stuff because it was just me. Yep. So one of my friends was like, yeah, bro, let's do it together. His name's Dev. Russell Shout Rutgers. Out Dev. Yeah, Dave Patel. And, yeah, so it was me and him just investing. And then, you know, I was just talking to somebody about it in class. And he was like, yeah, bro, I'm down. So, you know, I was just fucking. Are you, were you just messing around at this point? Yeah, I was just messing around. Don't tell the IRS. That's on the low. <laughs> but, yeah, we were just messing around. And um, slowly but surely, you know. Built up to 10 people, built up to 15 people. And I was like, damn. So what were you doing? Were you investing their money or were you help, just helping them invest? Or So what would happen is, you know, people are scared to invest because they think you need a large sum of money to do it. Mm -hmm. Whereas you could do paycheck by paycheck, get one stock at a time. So what would happen is we would just pool money together like an investment club and do it as a whole. And depending on like when you put your money in, how the portfolio was at the time would determine how much you got out of it, this, that, third. 
And then I was like, might as well make it a legal entity. So over the summer, me and my boy, um, his name's Eric Johnson. Shout out to him. He handles my paperwork. Um, always need that guy. Always need that guy. On speed dial. Facts. FaceTime him right now. <laughs> but yeah, um, me and him went down to, well, up to Trenton. And, um, up from here, yeah. Yeah, up. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, we went up to Trenton, filled out the proper paperwork, paid whatever needed to be paid, got it up and running. Um, right now, everything is almost done. You know, all the agreements for, for you know, partial owners or, you know, just members in general, they're coming up about. And I almost got done making a deal with a brokerage to sign up with them to trade. Mm -hmm. But then shit just came down with, like, Charles Schwab and, like, like Ameritrade was like, yeah. Zero dollar investing last week. I was like, yo. So, you know, I backed out of that and I was like, go to TD Ameritrade. They have a little bit of rep inside these low level. I did no some with Ameritrade before. I like, yeah. I like them. They have good research platforms. Yes. Yes. They have the, um, they have yeah, the yeah. best one. I mean, I prefer Morningstar. Okay. I haven't used it. I've used Ameritrade and all the other ones. So yeah. We have a Morningstar account just for the business. Gotcha. So, like, I the members have access to it. I don't want to get too deep into the like nuances, but like, so what are you trying to create? Like what, or what are you not trying? What are you actually creating? If you want to, you know, go that far as to. So, you know, this is just a side project right now. Mm -hmm. right, I'm right now I'm focused on graduating, getting a good job and stuff. That's my main, main priority. But this. As a life goal. Exactly. But this, this is just like a little hobby, you could call it. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I've always been like speculative and interested by something where you don't lose money but you just make money somehow passive passive income it's always about streams of income you know you have to have multiple streams in case one cuts off you have more to back and is that on. a typical flaw of most most of people most yeah, people yeah, yeah. of they have a main thing and if that something happens with that there's no other way or at least they don't see the other way of like they don't realize that they can do something just right on their laptop facts, if facts. they you know broke their leg or as an example. Yeah, so like let's say like you're in manual labor, like you said, broke your leg, mm -hmm. and most people in that field don't have multiple streams of income, so they would be like, "Damn, I'm screwed," and that stuff leads to all the other jumbo child family problems. This, that, third, because. Mm -hmm. You know how it be once. Well, the big problem, another design. problem, is people will do, get comfortable in this position, right? Exactly. And they'll buy a seventy thousand dollar vehicle, debt. yeah, and and a five hundred thousand dollar house, right, and all these things, and then, but they're like living on the line, like they they they're not that, living on the line, check. but they would have to sell so many things. Exactly. So paycheck now you're to in a, paycheck. Exactly. Now you're in a position of like. Obviously, if the if the assets are pretty liquid, like you're fine. But you know, for the most part, but you you could have to very quickly yeah liquidate. liquidate a lot of stuff, and that's a whole bitch in itself. You would Whereas, be losing a lot more. Yeah, no, you would lose a lot. 100%, exactly, because you would then you know say it was vehicles. You put all the money into the maintenance, right? Like right. I don't know what the average APR is, but like on my student card, credit card, that shit's like twenty four percent, bro. That shit's crazy. Yeah, I can only imagine what people with like really bad credit have. Yeah. That, that. Oh yeah, dude. That that'll be. Oh, it goes far, man. Yeah, I've been I've been seeing it firsthand. <laughs> yeah, so like one of the main. Yeah, dude. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, we have. We. I fucked up when I was younger, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really wanted the iPhone, mm -hmm. and you know iPhones are like eleven to eleven hundred and so you're shit. Like, how am I gonna get? So this? my first job, you know, I used to make like three hundred a paycheck two weeks, and I was like, damn, I really want this iPhone. I was just like, fuck it just went and bought an iphone and then the bill started hitting i was like damn 70 dollars a month for installments mm -hmm. and fucking at&t charged a shit ton just for activation fees like i was living broke <laughs> like i was like 17 at the time i was still in like high school so i could survive you know yeah because you'll get the meal <laughs> yeah like you'll like i still survive yeah. through my parents i'm not gonna lie i live with yeah i um uh, they helped me but yeah, dude, I lot. wouldn't be in the position. I w obviously like wouldn't be where I'm at without them. Mm -hmm. But I'm at a pretty good level of self sufficiency. If things went bad, yeah. See, I live with my parents, okay. so if shit went to go down, mm -hmm. I I have enough saved up to where I could do some stuff. Yeah, 
But I don't think I would need to because I have some amazing family members I could fall back on. Yeah. That would, you know, happen. Gotcha. Like, you know, one call and they'd be like right there type people. Mm -hmm. I have some amazing family members, dude. If, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's hard, man. Like, I'm not saving a lot, a ton. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saving because I'm always saving, but... Like when you get, when I got this apartment, bro, the first year I was like, "Oh, this is dope!" Like, and how now, much you give? Like six hundred a month? Uh, it's like it's like a grand. It's like a grand, and we split Damn. it somewhere around there. Wait, but it's a grand it. I got that a you guys split it? Okay, yeah, so it is exactly. You're right. Like six hundred, like, including utilities exact, and shit. Yeah, we pay for that stuff too. And then you got think about it. So then you got you guys pay for water bill. You pay for water. So let's think about now. I got school is seven a grand. Thousand a semester, so fourteen a year, somewhere around there. I have a nice ass scholarship, and that, and then car, and all the things that come with that, and then so it's like, oh, I have and my, everybody listening to me I right now, no, yeah. has all these things in their life yeah. or more, but um, you know, I'm just preaching the fucking choir, but you know, yeah, dude, I I have, but yeah, it adds up. You're, it is a difference. Just to go off what you said, of it is a difference when you when up. you move out. It's exactly. it's fucking. It's like, and I can always go back to my parents. Like, I go there on the vacations and stuff, but like, oh, yeah. You know, this is fucking, this is it. Like, yeah, but you're from North Jersey. I live 40 minutes down the road. Yeah, I'm two hours, a good two hours. Yeah, I don't think you want to commute two hours back and forth. No way. I wouldn't go here. Yeah, dude. That's, that's, I wouldn't go here, dude. That's fucked. I wouldn't go to college, (laughs) probably. I'd probably just start a business up there. Online Mm -hmm. podcasting. Dude, that. Hey, man. That's what we're there doing. There you go. Straight up. I don't know where, how we got off on that. But uh, anyway, so you backtrack. were... Yeah, backtrack. So, well, let's go... Instead of going, try to go reverse, let's just start from, like, the beginning of... Can we talk about the Bang Energy shit, or... I don't think I can. Okay. That's fine. You don't have to. Can you talk about it generally? Yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so Bang... If you want me to cut that, I can, but... Yeah, we'll talk about it yeah. a little bit. So Bang Energy, you know, that was like one of my major first investments. Yeah. So I first got through it through my trainer. I used to, there's this guy, it's Steve, G&J Fitness on Black Horse Pike right behind the Arby's. Shout out. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. The more people who shout out, the better. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. So he, I went to his fridge to get water, right? Mm -hmm. Because he has hella water because he's a personal trainer. And he made me run around the fucking Arby's like 30 times, like on some dumb shit. Mm Because I called him a hoe. And he, he, like, I opened up. I was like, yo, Steve, why is there so much soda in here? He was like, soda? Read the back of the can. It was like, bro, 20 grams protein, zero grams carb, one gram carb or, like, one gram sugar, Mm -hmm. 210 calories made with creatine, BCAAs, this, that, third. So through Steve, because I couldn't invest. I haven't told this to many people, but through Steve, me and him, that was, like, how I started, like, first imagining of, like, you know, people bringing money together and pooling. Yeah. Through him, I, we invested, well, I and him invested into Bang Energy. Mm-hmm. It was a low amount. Yeah. It was a low amount because it's a startup. We invested it through, like, I think it was Kickstarter at the time. Any startup is a risk. Very, yeah, it was a, a yeah, yeah, risk. Yeah. It like was a, 99% failure risk. Yeah, I think it was a Kickstarter at the time. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think... How many years ago was that? Do you know? Dude, it was a while. But I was about like six, seven years ago. Okay, because I was going to say, I thought, I think I'm I think it's made by like Redline Energies or something. Okay, it's made by a parent company. Yeah. yeah. So, we invested in there and, ooh, excuse me, they have different levels of investing. Mm-hmm. You could put like $35 in and they would ship you some amount of cans, just that third. Yep. And then the biggest one was like $1,200 and you would own like. 0.5 percent of the company or some shit yeah so i put in like i had enough saved up and i was like all right here's a cool thousand mm-hmm. and then steve put whatever steve put on i don't want to reveal his stuff yeah sure sure yeah and we it was a pretty penny from steve's side yeah and you know it slowly rose and rose like now you see bang energies at walmart and stuff they got we do um actually shit we have an nda so i can't talk about it but yeah too many restrictions. We do marketing for a certain energy energy yeah, company. Yeah. Um, I can't name them, but so we. You uh, know you want. To. I we got an NDA. Literally, I can't. But um, <laughs> I wish I could. Um, Give in. Yeah. Right. No. I'm, I mean, fuck, man. And I feel like NDAs aren't even worth a shit anymore. But <laughs> till they see you, until they come knocking we on my can door. You put it on the bloopers. Honestly, I'm not <laughs> even. Yeah, it's like no, it's a technicality. Yeah, but yeah. 
But they're huge now is what, what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. But yeah, and then that happened, and then Steve bought me out. Yeah, Steve bought me out. He paid for whatever my like thing was worth at the time. Yep. And I don't think I've told this to anyone. Like I kept this under wraps because I don't think I've told my like parents and shit. Well, this isn't going to like a million people. So yeah, you know, but... <laughs> I haven't told this to anyone because when I first talked about investing, everyone's like, "Oh, save your money." Ooh. I was like, "But isn't investing a form of saving while making more than what the bank would technically give you in like a month?" In the, on a good month like if you if anybody generally invests smart then you shouldn't really lose money that's the thing though yeah because but you have to be willing to take the a short that's a very small gain over yeah so the thing yeah. is that you know people get scared when the market goes down a little bit mm-hmm. like Even i got it goes sca- down exactly. every other day like Dude, well when i first started like i started like in like july and that next October is known as Red October, where everything plummeted to like yep. <laughs> thirty three or forty percent of yeah. its value, and I was like, "Fuck, oh, I'm man. losing everything!" Like I was like scared as hell. Yeah, I had so much money tied up in there, and I was like, "Damn." Wait, did you have like faith in it though that like it would go back? I, I, I was new at the time. I was like, "Yo, damn, I don't know." Whoa, and like this was the time like I was doing the fifty two week book challenge, so my next book was on stocks, mm-hmm. and I think. I think it was called the Common Sense Investing. It's like a little red book. Um, yeah, I'll leave it in the description. Yeah, I, it's, it's a, I don't know if that's the whole name or not. But yeah, it was talking, gave me a whole bunch of strategies on how to invest. You know, yeah, averaging the money down was one so of did the you biggest things. Do that? Did you like use? Oh them? yeah, because yeah. like uh, so many people were, you know, as I will, I if I read some shit, I'm probably not gonna do it. Like, most people just aren't going to do it. They're like just going to read I, it. I wasn't a big reader, but, like, I've been yeah. picking up on it. Like, I'll be... Because it only makes sense if you actually use the knowledge, right? Like... Yeah. I read a lot of biographies and stuff. Learn people's mistakes. That's huge, right? Learn... Yeah. You know, know what Knowing what not to do is... Exactly. Equally as important. Probably more important. Exactly. But, yeah, one of the biggest things that I learned from that book was, you know, the market, no matter what happens... Uh-huh. will always tend to beat inflation. Well, it has in the yeah. past. And the past is always like a good indicator of the future. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. But one of the biggest things that it talked about was averaging down the cost. So let's say I bought like one at like 50 and right now it goes for 10. So if I buy like another one at 10, it would average like the whole value oh, of it down. Yes, yeah. So it wouldn't be 50, it'd be like 30 or like 20 or it'd something. Be the median. And I then guess, you buy okay. some more lower so it averages down even more. So the money you lose is less, but you do have more tied up in it. Mm-hmm. But you do, oh, it averages it down so much. That was one of the biggest things I did. That yeah, And the second thing I learned was the rule of 72. Let me let me give you the proper definition of it. It's it's quite important. We're, we're about, I'm about the proper definitions. We, you, we typically don't have them, so we're usually just spitballing. <laughs> this is good. I'm glad to have the actual one. But yeah, dude, this, this is one of like the... Rule of 72. Yo, my phone's glitchy. They be like that. Shout out to AT&T for having no service around these areas. Shout out Verizon for having decent service around these areas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish. Yeah. The rule bad. of... Yeah. No, nah, it's finally up. The rule of 72 basically talks about, on average, how long it would probably take to double it. Okay. But yeah, so when you combine the two formulas of averaging it down, so it's and like a ratio. Seven, it is a ratio. Yeah. It's seventy-two over the rate of return. Okay, okay gotcha. So let's say like the yearly return is like ten percent. Mm-hmm. So you do seventy-two over ten to see how long it would take to double it. Oh, I see. So then it would be what seven years? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see. Seven point two. And you know what? That's what intrigued me too. Is you you use the calculators and you're and you're like. Bang, 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 here. This is what we can I have. like to show I like, people. Yeah, like, I, that's, I've never had somebody do that before. Like, I like what This kid literally just... takes the fucking calculator, like, a spe- like the one online, and basically just puts in, all right, this is how much money we would put in, this is the st- whatever, like, right. the logistics right. behind it, and then you click a button, and it's like, this is where we would be in 16 years or 32. Or that's a long 16. time to think ahead. Yeah. It but is. I like to think ahead a little bit. Well, it gets you in a perspective on, like, I should really be consciously doing it now because 
then if I then look back 20 years from now, remember when I thought about that 20 years right, ago? Right. Man, good shit. Good thing right, I did, right? right? Because that's what you said is the number one thing that people say is I should have regrets invested earlier. The should have. Yeah. Dude, yeah. A lot of like people I've met, like my English professor, I talked to him about that because I showed him I showed him like my template mm -hmm. on uh, you know the membership agreement so yep. he could like word proof it because he's like yeah yeah I'll do it for yeah. you he's like amazing guy that's awesome yeah, yeah so like you know if there's like holes or stuff or anything could be worded better he would like yeah. let me know but yeah. yeah he was like dude when I went to like you know talk to him about it, he was like dude I wish I wish I did this sooner mm -hmm. like you know how much money I would have it's and then crazy. I pulled out the calculator on him. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? No, because he's just thinking about it in his head. But then you're like, oh, you want to see the numbers? That like, like I like on? those yeah. were legit life numbers. Like he's been yeah. saving this much in his savings account. And then I showed him like how the market tended to be in those years he was saving mm -hmm. and what it could have been plus dividends if yep. we invested. The drip method. There. You, well, you want to talk about that? Oh yeah, it's basically when like you know a company pays out its shareholders. Mm -hmm. So those are called dividends. Now, when you have enough shares, let's say you have like 10 shares of X company and X company is worth 10 bucks and X company gives you a dollar, right? So you basically- A dollar a month? A no, year. a dollar. So dividends are typically pay, paid out um, quarterly? Quarterly, right? Quarterly. Yeah, four, four times a year. Yeah. yeah. So let's say they pay out a dollar, right? So that's 25 cents, 25 cents. Mm -hmm. so, so that $10, well that, Ten dollar share would pay out a dollar, mm -hmm. and let's say you had ten of those, so then you would basically have like ten dollars chilling at the end of the year with those dividends, and you put it back in, so you would have eleven. And so then you, next yeah, year, yeah, you reinvest your dividends. Yeah, and then next year you take whatever you have, put it back in, you would have twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and eventually instead of being fifteen, it'd be like seventeen, and then twenty, mm -hmm. so on, so on. So your value would increase. So that's the drip method. Yeah. Is the method of reinvesting dividends. And well, first investing in dividend stocks and then taking those dividends and reinvesting them. And so are you then buying, you're setting that up automatically so it buys a portion of the share, of a share if it has to, right? I don't, or, I don't, yeah, I don't know if different programs have that already like done. Because I know when I use Schwab, it could, I could buy Schwab, 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 Schwab. I could <laughs> use a, por or I could buy a portion of the share. With oh the yeah, with the dividend. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff where you can buy portions like M one. You could get like ten dollars and buy like a piece of like Amazon stock. Mm. But I don't trust that stuff. Yeah, it's weird. It's kind of fishy. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how. I mean, I understand it. I just don't like the logistics of it. Like the back end. Yeah. Shit. What's if I want to yeah. own a stock, I'll just get like a whole share. Mm -hmm. Or if not, I'll then find a way. Yeah, or find a way. What's your opinion on um, Robinhood? It's what I used when I was cut this out from the IRS. <laughs> and I was just like, "You're good, bro. They're not coming after you. They're not coming after. They're not looking at watching our pod whole podcast. They don't have time. They don't want to pay somebody." What do you think, that. bro? You remember those FBI phone memes, bro? No facts. They got. <laughs> dude, they, they're gonna transcribe my FBI this shit. agent gonna be like, "Yo, I heard yeah. that shit. Where you at, man?" Yeah, right. Facts. No, me a black man. Facebook's gonna sell them the data because that's facts. that it's recording. Yo, speaking right of, have you ever have you heard of the shutdown Facebook trend that's going down no. recently? Apparently, people have been like hashtagging shut down Facebook or something. Like, I got a glimpse like of it. Like, hashtagging anything has ever done anything. But, like, this is a trend. Like, it's a wave. Yeah, but there's nothing you can do. It's like, like, a hashtag can't legally shut down Yeah, no, it can't. But, like, some stuff's come out about, like, you know, what's his face? CEO of Facebook. Forgetting his What's name. a better chance? Shutting down Facebook or impeaching Trump? <laughs> I mean, the Trump <laughs> impeachment's already going down. I know. I don't. I don't want to get political. I just had to throw that one in there. But We'll leave um, politics out of this. Yeah, we will. And, but... That, no, I didn't see that about Facebook. I, I just caught a glimpse of it. Huh. I don't know the full story. I wonder if it's there's got to be something behind it. Really. Uh, no, apparently he's been having secret meetings with people, like officials and Man, stuff He's probably or been something. doing that for fucking the whole time. Dude's a robot. There's fucking these robot. Dude, he's fucking the, the water sip. Just... That shit is weird, bro. <laughs> that shit is weird, man. Some that people was like the water shortest food, water sip I've seen. Like yeah. the water touched his lips probably, and he put that down. No, it was for effect water sip. It was like a nervous water sip. It wasn't like he actually needed water. It was, uh, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, a, it was a reflex. Oh. It wasn't actually that his he body was said agua. No, his, he was, yeah. <laughs> his body said no, agua. No, he was nervous. That's why, like, because, like, people do certain things when they're, they're obviously, like, mm -hmm. generally, like, people do, everybody has their own little things. That must be one of his. Right, right. And, like, I, I've done it, too, where you just kind of, like, and you're like, I don't, I don't even want any. Like, I just picked it up for no reason. 
Facts. That's so funny, though. But, yeah, he is a robot. I'm interested to see what happens with Facebook. Yeah, what do you do Honestly, when you're nervous, yeah? What do I do when I'm nervous? Um, I don't know. I try to be aware that I'm nervous, so I don't know. There's got to be some action or reaction. I don't watch myself. I don't have a video of myself when I'm nervous. Dude, I don't really when know. I get nervous, I get sleepy. Really? Oh, I'm the opposite. I'm, like, a wi- I'm way too awake. Like, when I was younger, like, if I, like, did something, like, I used to be a retarded kid. Like, I'm not, not retarded, but, like, I used to be, like, a smart kid who just did stupid stuff. Okay, gotcha. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Oh, I would I ace a class, mm-hmm. but then I would do something dumb. Yeah, but you were, like, And get, bored. like, detention for it. But I bet you were bored because you were, like, the class was easy, so it doesn't matter. I found everything easy going yeah. through high school, dude. Yeah. Oh, me too. It was light work, bro. 3.8 GPA. Okay. I didn't have a 3.8. Shit. It's weighted. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I have, like, a, I did it. I think, I think I had my, I might have had 3.5 in high school, maybe 3.4. Dude, high school was a breeze. But, bro, when I tell you, like, my dad would know when I did some dumb shit because I would come home from school and just knock out instead of going out. Because we used to live in an apartment at the time. uh, We used to, like, live in an apartment at the time. mm -hmm. And there was, like, like, these kids that I used to go out and play with because it was, like, a big field. And instead of playing, I would just come home and knock out. (laughs) And he'd be like, I'll wake up. And he'll be like, he did some dumb shit. What'd you do? Facts. (laughs) That's funny, man. I don't know. I've been since I've been performing. It's crazy. I'll do it. I'll be like DJing in front of like 500 people, and I don't. I, I won't get nervous at all. And no, then I don't I'll get nervous in front. And of then people. I'll perform. Me either, really. And then, but then I'll perform. So it's like no, no. Then I'll read lyrics that I wrote in class to my class, who is like I. Lo- I know all of them, right? Facts, facts. Then I'll be nervous, but 500 people doesn't scare me at all. So it's Speaking like. Speaking of, is that you're gonna be listening to this from? Um, I forgot her name. Sh- I doubt it, but shout out to her. Her, I'm not gonna mention her name, but shout out to her. Um, we know who it is. Yeah, okay, and uh, my boy's she's dope. Red. She's dope. Um, shout out to her boy too. He's he's got a good one. See now she's um, gonna know. Who it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fucking podcast. Facts. Um, they could come on the podcast and talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna beat you up, bro. Bro, probably though. Probably, bro. He was tall. He was tall. He was taller than me, but I wasn't <laughs> intimidated at all, bro. He looked. He. I no, got the muscle. He gave mask. me that stare of like, of like, of like. I'm just an asshole stare, though. It wasn't like an actual like. Did you know that she was cuffed? No. She didn't. She didn't give out those vibes. No, no, bro. We were like hitting it off, man. She had a like, like she had band T shirt on, which is like don't ACDC? have a band. No, you are obsessed with ACDC, bro. Dude, I love ACDC. Um, they have all their songs are exactly the same, and they only play three chords. Yeah. So, no, yo, <laughs> you can chill, on it, chill, debate, on it. <laughs> chill on it, chill on it, chill on it. We do a lot of music. Highway to hell, go, dude. I went from that girl to ACDC, now, <laughs> and we're gonna get lost in ACDC, bro. Highway to hell, go, dude. Yeah, I mean, back in it, it black, was, goaded. back in middle school, ACDC was cool, you know. Um, Still cool, each other. <laughs> I'm just ripping you on this <laughs> shit. Dude, don't come I gotta go me. home, dog. Yeah, yeah it's like Where's just get up. Bag? I'm just out. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> out. This kid fucking hates ACDC. He had me on the podcast. Fuck it. Just fuck shit out of me for ACDC. <laughs> yeah, They're my favorite band. No, because I tell him I'm like, hey, dude. listen, I'm making a classic. I'm making an album that I'm gonna have a lot of classic songs on. He's like, is ACDC? And I'm like. He didn't people, have ACDC people in there. I've heard Back in Black and fucking all that shit enough times, man. They got to hear it more. I think I'm going to include What is Love and not include ACDC. So that's, Hadaway that's gets fucked the up. Hadaway over ACDC. What that's is more repetitive? Up. That's I fucked know, up. But. That's fucked up. Anyway, so no, we were hitting it off now in the class sad. and I didn't know she was cuffed. Now I'm sad. Didn't know she was cuffed. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You touched my feelings, man. But, um,. That's okay. We'll be okay. Anyway. They do have three chords, though. Their songs are easy as hell yeah, to learn. Yeah, oh my God. Lie. I've learned everything. Dude, I, I, learned, um, I learned Back in Black in like three days. Yeah. Like, I picked up the guitar like a month ago. Yep. Yeah, it's light work, bro. It's But that's good, though, because that's because those songs sound so cool to play, and they're so easy the riffs at are the so same nice. time. Yeah, like, they're so nice. Um, I just remember Hell's Bells, just playing Hell's Bells Hell's for hours. Bells. Yeah. I didn't like that song. I, I love fuck with it. I fuck with it. Um, See, me and you mm. were opposites, bro. Yeah. 
this is why we work good together. Well, we can work good together. Facts, though, facts. Like, yeah, because you, you don't think of the yeah. shit that I won't think about. Yeah, you have to include the people from the other specter. Yeah. Maybe the opinions. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta and cater they're gonna, to and we'll see where, where they intertwine. Exactly, you gotta to cater to your weaknesses by having the right people around. There you go, because that's, that's what every single successful, successful person exactly. does. Is they, they, none of them are a lone wolf. Like, like they, facts. you know, on the back, on the background, there's a hundred people. Like facts. for every successful artist, there's ten ghostwriters. You know, facts. and like. There, and I don't want to say that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. If you have ghostwriters, that's probably a good thing. That means you're shout in a out to Drake to have ghostwriter. Yeah, shout out to Drake. Like, I don't. I if if it means he has better lyrics, all the better. You know, the, you can't take. But the all thing the credit is that that's then. not his work. You can't take all the credit. Then but, he's been taking yeah, the credit, but that's not his time, work. If I if I'm in the room and I say, Yo, use it, use he instead of she or something. That's a songwriter credit now. Now I'm on the credits for the song. If I just say one word, so it's a fish. It's a gray area. Nobody, nobody even real. Nobody, nobody realized. He that. never included the Ghost Rider on anything though. Like no, it's in there. It's all in the credits. So you go on Wikipedia. You is, can it, is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it's their real names or anything, or the real. It could be fictitious. Well, like, you would he's think he's not under any obligation to tell us. You know, I get. You know, I don't think. I I think they're on a respect level. You should let your fans know who's writing your music. But at, at the, the same, same time, time, speaking of Kanye, shouldn't be writing his stuff from now on. <laughs> he needs a ghost rabbit. <laughs> I, want I want him to keep, keep doing those church videos where he's. Oh yeah, church. Kanye, do, do that to for, for the rest, rest of the time, time, bro. Don't, Don't worry about, about making music. They're hype as hell for no reason. It's, 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 if Kanye's right next to me with an, in an on an organ, an electric organ, dude, I'm gonna be like, Facts. I'm gonna be so happy. It's gonna Facts. be crazy. <laughs> like, Facts. I'm going to wish that it was 2009 Kanye or 10, but, like, what Graduation, are you gonna do? Kanye. Graduation, Kanye. Straight Watch the up, throne, man. Kanye. Dude, I don't know if this story is true about Kanye or not. My cousins told me this, but, like, this one time Kanye was in a concert, right? Mm-hmm. And dude just, like, stopped everything. He was like, everybody, get the, get the fuck up. And there was, like, these three people or somebody sitting in wheelchairs that couldn't get up. I don't know if this is factual or not. Somebody told me this. My cousin told me this. He knows his name, Weibo. I'm calling you out right now, bro. Those people couldn't get up, and he was pointing <laughs> pointing them out to get up. And then he realized they were in a wheelchair and just started resuming the show. I don't know if this is factual or not. I, I don't take it. credits Did you for see this. The one Kendrick video where he has this white girl come up on stage, mm-hmm. and then it it gets to the uh, to the N word part, and I'm gonna censor because. You never know. I mean, I'm going to say as many curse words as I want, but I don't want people to get racial. No racial profiling. No racial shit. Um, we'll, we'll include it, but I need to be more pre- uh, prescripted, scripted when I say things. You need nature. to end but card. anyway, he has this girl, and, like, the girl says it, and he, like, g- he kicks her off stage and gives her a bunch of shit about it, even though he had her up to say the lyrics. So he knew she was going to say it. I feel like I've heard this. I haven't seen yeah. it. I've heard it. No, you can see it. the video. It's kind of like from, first of all, he can do whatever he wants. Like I get it. Like it's your stage, it's your show, it's your everything, it's your song. It's but he whatever. set her up. He but set he her set up. her up. He, well, I think. Listen, there's only so much. Maybe we can he know. forgot because he was it in could, rhythm. Maybe she paid four hundred and ninety-seven dollars for that for like a part of the package experience. Maybe she paid her dad paid twelve hundred. I don't know. That's but that's pretty cheap. With the Kanye over. thing and with that, it's like I don't know though. At the same time, it's like these people. This is their living. This is what they do. Facts. Who are we to judge them? For doing it the way they want to do it, Kanye, I assume, wasn't out to get those people. He was that out to get Taylor Swift. You, yeah, well, that's a fact, but factuals. Listen, Taylor, I don't. She hasn't come out with anything good after about that. About my 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 lover. Okay, it just doesn't get me. The song doesn't make sense. The verses don't. It's an amazing song. Over here it's, making a candy cane, it's bro. It's a candy cane, bro. <laughs> it's supposed to be a circle, but I didn't have the proper geometry. Just knock the cup down, bro. Yeah. Not in my own house. So somebody else's house. But anyway, Taylor Swift, get your songwriting together. Um, she hasn't been the same since the, <laughs> since the controversies. Yeah, now she's on Just there. some kind of agenda. I don't, I don't know. She's been off the radar. Yeah. Man, we've been all over the place. This is great. We went from investing to bang energy to acdc to taylor swift to a girl in my class to back to taylor swift to kanye to drake to (laughs) to kendrick to kendrick to the white girls yeah 
to the white girls. Yep. We, we Yo, speaking of white, white girls, girls Yo, Stockton has hella bad <laughs> chicks right now, bro. <laughs> dude, okay, if you're looking to go to Stockton <laughs> and you're a guy, dude, um, it's like a 70 30 don't ratio. Don't come. It's, uh, it's not good. Don't come. There's no girls here. Quote unquote. <laughs> dude, it's fucking off the chain. Dude, okay, ever since, we, let's talk ever about since this AC because opened. I'm going to post this as a clip and then everybody's going to be like, <laughs> did you guys really talk about that? Yeah, we, yeah did. we did. Because, all right, so last year there was hella girls and I was like, oh, there's a lot of, there's a good amount, right? This year, mind blowing. Mind blowing, bro. Mind boggling. You literally look around yeah. and you can't, if you dude, want to talk to somebody, it's female. That's fucking dude, amazing. you could look anywhere and like there'll be <laughs> like a group of people and you could, there's baddies like t- anywhere, everywhere from like your one to 12, bro. Yeah, straight up. You got your whole spectrum baddies. And you can lock them. You can, you yeah. can kind of lock them in a categories too, like the categorical ones. Because the the clones, there's always clones. Dude, there's always clones. The there's fucking yeah. thousands of clones. But speaking of UGG seasons coming, get ready, fellas. Yep. Facts. Yo, I bought some UGG boots here. Those shits is comfy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you speak for yourself, man. I don't know. I never actually. I never else. have tried on the UGG, so I don't know. Dude, it's like stepping on clouds. Okay, because I've been rocking the Converse, and that's exactly the opposite. <laughs> <of that. laughs> No, dude, those are like deadlift shoes because they're so flat. Yep, they're very flat. I just do it for the style. I need to get Dr. Yeah, I try to get back in the gym, bro. Yeah, I've been at it. I promised my vicious, uncle I would lose like 40 by the time he got back. You were already India. losing some weight already, weren't you? Yeah, I'm dropping, but like I got I got four months to drop 40, bro. Which is you doable. Sh- which is Yeah, doable. it's like two pounds a week. Yeah, I was going to say it's literally two pounds, like two and a half pounds a week. But like I'd be... I'd be I'll be getting Some cravings. <laughs> you got to do that. Like, I'll be fasting, like fasting, bro. You know you got to do it. Dude, I'll be fast. like, I'll be like good for like two days. And then I'll just see like a Taco Bell at end. I'll just lose my shit. Yep. I'll be like, fuck. I have to. Fact. It's, <laughs> it's that demon in there. You're just like, you can. Right. It's it. like the id ego. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't tell want me. it. <laughs> I don't need it. Oh my God. I need it. That's why I make all my meals and i and i feel really bad if i buy something because then if i buy you something i fucked my system up and if i fucked my system up then what's the point in the first dude, place i fucked so. my system up from the get i tried meal prepping like when summer first started mm-hmm. and that was the time i had like a lot of family coming over and stuff people for, i had family from like canada coming down and you know when you have family you're like just going everywhere this that third so i was yeah i'm not keep track of it yeah. and shit just went to waste like it was molding. My dad tossed everything out. Mm. Gotcha. I uh, I do just do it once a week, man. It takes about two or three hours tops. I go to the store on the same day. I do the same thing every day, basically all the time, and I eat the same. I'm my. It's very boring. But See, I can't do that. I have I have some some you know. I know most jumpy people taste can't. buds. I don't know why I can, but well, you probably have some like Indian like cultural. Taste dude, buds, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That need a, some flavors. Like, Plus the thing with it, I you, probably got some Irish potato famine. You got Irish potatoes, bro? What's I got <laughs> Irish. I got potatoes, but I got. Are they Irish I probably potatoes? Yeah, no, they're not from Ireland. Oh, dude, no, come on. Man. Actually, potatoes really. Oh weird. no, I'm talking about like the Irish potatoes, like the shits you used to make back in school. Oh like the no. Sweet stuff. Yeah. Now I, like now I gotta get stuff. some, bro. Fuck you. Well, we gotta stop talking about food, then, man. We're gonna start getting. I'm, I'm, I got some steak for later. It's gonna be good. See, I don't meal eat prep, meat. baby. Meal prep life. See, I don't eat meat. The thing with Indian oh, you don't is, eat meat at all. No, gotcha, no eggs. Bro. I eat meat every meal. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you set yourself up for that. <laughs> this is the first time I had to leave during a podcast. <laughs> you, said <laughs> you said it. You said it. We're gonna get good clips from this one. Holy shit, bro! Dude. You said it. You. Said I know. It. I know. I eat <laughs> meat for every meal. <laughs> That's not going anywhere anytime soon. Feeding yeah. window. I have a feeding window, bro. I have an eight-hour feeding window. I need my meat. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's me, though. But, yeah, no, bro. The thing with Indian food is it's hella carbs and hella fats. So when you need to get proteins, it's, it's like, hard to get proteins because most of the proteins you have to get are from beans mm. and cheese and stuff. Yeah, rice doesn't have that much. And, yeah. And, like, when you eat, like, beans and cheese and stuff, you get hella carbs with beans and cheese. Oh, yeah. And you want to, like, when you want to lose weight, the whole point is to, you know, burn stored energy that you have, which is essentially what fats are Mm -hmm. on your body. But when you eat carbs, it burns those carbs first, and then it goes into that fat 
storage depletion, whatever. But if you keep just eating carbs, which I have to do, then it's like, fuck. You just keep giving me more fuel, then how am I supposed to burn the shit that's already there? Mm -hmm. So, I got a standard, like, a 1,300 calorie limit. Mm -hmm. I fucked that word up so bad. Um, You're good, bro. And the thing is, I have thyroid disease, so it's like, when food sticks on me, whereas you could eat a pizza and burn that shit by, like, sitting on the couch, a slice of pizza will sit on me for, like, a week. So, that's, like, fucked up. So that doesn't help. It it does not help. But people say that you can help that with diet, like that you can cure exactly. That with the, diet. Th- the thing with thyroid is it could be genetic. It could be like acquired through poor habits and stuff. The thing with me is that I think it's fifty fifty. I feel like with most people, it's probably multiple factors in one. Yeah, like I I've never had a good diet, right? But Growing like I feel like most people our age haven't had really. Well, like, I'll be eating at, like, 2 in the morning because the way my schedule's set up, like, I'll come See, home from... See, I don't do that. I'm in bed by 10, 30. See, no. <laughs> 11. Like, I wake up at, like, 6 or 7 every day mm-hmm. unless I have to so go like to you work. you don't sleep much, right? Yeah, unless yeah. I have to go to work, then like, I'll be up at, like... I don't fucking understand you people. What is up? Not you people, like... I'm just saying you people who don't sleep a lot. You're all crazy. You say that, but... Let there be a fucking zombie out If you lived my life and just slept four or five hours and then tried to live in my body, bro, you wouldn't be... Like, my body doesn't work. Like, your body's a fucking temple, bro. You have your shit together. Me? Facts. I will okay. fucking sleep for, like, two hours one day, four hours the next day, and on weekends get, like, 24 hours. So you do a rollover? I... Bro, this isn't Walmart. But... It's a rollback. Is Ah... Oh. See, now I look stupid in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's half the podcast, Clips. Man. If you want to look smart one second, you're going to look dumb the next. It's just how Listen, it this is Listen, this isn't my mojo, all right? This is a free fucking freestyle. Facts. We're freestyling, so. Facts. It's literally having a conversation. Facts. So there's no scripts here. There's no fucking scripts. Exactly. So, I don't know. What the fuck were we talking about? Diet. But what about diet? Thyroid. Oh, no, oh, dude, we're oh, past you that. You said shit. that I, like, my shit. Oh, yeah, oh, the dude, roll yeah. Over, the roll dude, back, yeah. The roll over roll sleep. Back. We'll yeah. call it the rollback. Actually, sleep. but you know it doesn't work like that. Right? It doesn't work yeah. like that. Like, at some point. But my you bo- go off of how you feel. Like, if you feel okay, like, then you're fine. Like, that's what people do. Like, and even though it doesn't work like that either. Dude, yeah. You know? The thing is that I'll come home from, like, class, like, around three. Mm-hmm. Knock out. Wake up at, like, eight, nine. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't take naps. Go in my basement. I'll play a guitar for a little bit because I'm still trying to learn. Man. Good. I don't know why. Why I just picked no, it up. No, it's good cognitively too. Dude, I fucking found it at a yard sale. Perfect. It was a Me squire. Too. That was uh, my second guitar I got at the yard sale. It was $5. a squire, dude. I paid like thirty five or forty. I don't remember how much. But like, it looks brand. I got new. a video. On my it Instagram. has like little chips and stuff on the side. But yeah, they my yeah mine do too. Mine are, my guitars are messed up. But I got a video on my Instagram. It's in my stories, like the saved ones. Right. And it's about this little guitar that my roommate got at a same thing like a thrift store, and about and basically I just tuned it and started ripping it. Like you don't need. I've said this multiple times on this podcast of like, people want to buy like nice shit to do things mm-hmm. that they don't know how to do. Like it makes no sense. Like, just buy a shitty guitar because you don't know if you're gonna like it or not. Like, facts. That's I've, my rant. That's end the rant. But. Dude, I've always been a big spender. I don't know why, but if I see money, I have to spend it. For I some like reason. to spend money on, on things that I really care about, and I'll spend a lot of money on things I really care about. But then I don't buy things I don't care about. Yeah, like one of the things is like when I see money, for some reason I just have to deplete the source. That's it's not why me. like it wouldn't be me. Yeah, that's why. That's why I like invest. Like when the check or whatever sure, comes in, the first thing that will do is it will go in there automatically. So it will. Y- yeah, it's set up automatically. Yeah. Automatic deposits. So then it will just show me whatever the fuck I have left. Mm-hmm. And then I can just go ham on that after I'm done paying bills and shit. There you go. That makes sense. I basically do a similar thing. Mine's not that, like, structured, though. I need to structure it more. Like, I need I got to, you. like, write it down more. Yeah, we're going to get yeah. into that, yeah. I've, yeah, like, I learned a little gonna... bit about managing finances in, like, my taxation class for some reason. Well, that's good. It's good that it helped you learn something. Facts. <laughs> like, I used to... School. Wow. Learning. Ooh. Crazy concept. I know, right? I thought I'd be partying the whole day. Yeah, right? Damn. Now I you can do that here. 
stock with me. You can if you want. I mean, you're gonna if look you like want, a crazy yeah. Person. Like if this you one dude went really hard. You'll look like a crazy person. Like this isn't. We don't have a culture of like. People do it, but we don't have a culture of like. That's not what it's known day. for. No, it's not what it's known. We're for. known for the boardwalk. Like, listen, I go to my in my Friday class, and motherfuckers are drunk in there. Like, that's college, <laughs> you know. But we're not like not really on a Monday. I'm not gonna say right. That. Ooh, another thing. I'm just hung over on Monday. See, no, I don't drink that. Yeah, I really don't. Um, actually, no, I drink more I on Sunday, Sunday than I do on Friday. I don't. I just don't. Good. You're, that's how. See, that's a part of a whole part of health that I don't. See, it's obey. just the stuff I've. Yeah. <laughs> I drink beers. I drink water. I drink water and beers and it's coffees. You drink mai tais. I drink. Eh. Maybe I drink black coffee, water, beer, I, milk. That's it. Four things. I'll drink sodas. I'll drink like teas. I'll drink coffee. I'll have my water. Soda maybe once a week. One thing maximum. I will never fucking drink is milk. Really? I drink good milk every day. Dude, fuck milk. I don't know what Never it is, but like I would... my life. Like, plain milk, I'll regurgitate that shit. And you're n- lactose uh, anti... I'm not lactose intolerant. Like, so... I will, I will like, chug down, like, chocolate milk. I'll chug down protein shakes with, like, milk. Oh, like yogurt you could eat? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll chug down yogurt. Oh, okay. But, like, just, I don't know the taste oh, or whatever. Itself, I'll yeah. regurgitate that shit. Like, I don't know why. It's just been like that. It just doesn't process with you. Like, my dad, he tries to force me to drink a lot of milk. Mm-hmm. But like you know, no. some people can't. I, I don't. I don't think people put should some cocoa powder and then some sugar, and I'll think about it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, makes it. Make it. Yeah, I like me some homemade chocolate milk. That shit flame. I should do that. That's a good idea. I should get some. Dude, syrup. speaking of, I saw this one Kickstarter about chocolate milk, like legitimate chocolate milk, twenty four grams of protein, one gram net carb, and it tastes like amazing. Like, what's the sugar substitute? Stevia. Okay. It's not bad. I think it's stevia. I'd rather have sugar, real sugar. I I don't know. It's like some some ghetto sucrose chain or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I I like those. They're too expensive. It would be too expensive. It's like protein powder. It's like not even worth it. It's like Yoohoo, bro. Yoohoo's not even I don't swear by supplements at all. I don't. I I used to. Like, I used. Now I tell people don't use any at all. Like, use zero supplements and then see how How you get bulky without the creatine. Yeah, I mean, creatine. Creatine's water. Yeah, it retains water. Yeah, exactly. So if you stop doing creatine, all the water goes away and your muscles shrink. I've done it a million times. Eat. That's it, period. Like, E E A T, period. Done. How to gain weight, how to gain mass, how to gain muscle. Eat. There you go. The right foods. <laughs> but on this side of the table, Fox we're talking about losing. <laughs> how to lose? Yeah, intermittent fast. I don't know. I've had. So today? And cow in proportion and, uh, yeah. Right? Today? I'm not an expert. I'm not a diet person. Dietitian. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I've been. I've done a lot of different diets and shit, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I just try to. I'll dispel what works for me. I'm on the, my third week of intermittent or my fourth week. After this week, it'll be a month of. So you started fasting. when school started. Yes, exactly. So, the thing is uh, that that week. Yeah. Started, yeah. So the thing is that I don't know why, but hunger is like something like, it's just like a little hill. Like you know what I'm saying. The only reason your body's going to, like, rumble and stuff, it's because it's used to you eating at that time. Yep. From what Mine I doesn't do that anymore. Yeah. Used to. It's, it's from a Used book. to hurt. No, it doesn't hurt me anymore. It, it, it's from a book I read. Shout out to reading your 52-week book challenge. I challenge you. Yeah, I don't know how. Um, yeah, I thought I read, and I don't. Compared to you, I don't read. I read, like, four books like, a I, year. I read. literally picked up reading this year. It's taught me so much shit. It's invaluable, man, but you got to use it, though. Like, if you're – also, what I think is – like, I don't know how you feel about this, but, like, I don't finish every book. Like, I don't uh, think that's a mandatory thing. I think you're wasting your time if you were, if you get halfway through a book and you're, like – and you finish it just because you paid for it. Like, that's stupid. Might as well go use the time to make more money to buy a book that you might like. Yeah, know. it's not that simple. I <laughs> use that time to make more. I mean, yeah, like, somebody with your skill like coupons, set. You know, it's like coupons. Like, why would I cut a coupon if I could just use that hour – that I would use to cut coupons to make another $15 facts, to facts, save facts. the, you know, I don't know, mm-hmm. but that's just, you're right, Yo, you're my right, mom's, it is my, dude, like, my, my family, my own, the like, women are huge couponers, mm-hmm. like, they have, like, pocketbooks of coupons, yeah, like, honestly, if you get your groceries for free, I can't talk shit, like, I'm not trying to talk well, shit, well, it's not groceries, you know? but, like, whatever it is, yeah, my aunt will go to fucking JCPenney and come out with an 80% discount, yeah, like, on the whole the, shebang, like, respect, on the whole fucking shebang, that. I will never do that, I won't even, I'll barely use a coupon for anything, Right. But maybe I'm stupid. 
but I'd rather just try to make more money instead of trying to save more. Facts. But the one, see, that's where, see, we need both of that in our culture because we're not taught how to save, but we're not taught how to make more either. And you know what I'm saying? Like what we were talking about the other day of like people are like we were saying with the coffee example. Yeah, you can take the three dollar coffee and not buy it and then save up all that money. Oh, yeah. Or you could just take a portion of your paycheck automatically Facts. and still be able to buy the coffee. You want me to drop them the calculator math on them real quick? Yeah, let's get it. All right, fuck it. Let's get it. So like I work at Dunkin' part time. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets me streams of income, man. Yeah, gets me that bread. There you go. But it's literally, we have assistance. Facts. Yeah. It's one of my steady streams. The other's the investment thing I do. There you go. So, yeah. First thing. Let's say I have customers who fucking buy like $5 worth of coffees like three times a day. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you were saying that the other day. Yeah, it blew dude. my mind. I'm not even capping. Like, they'll like walk in and the staff day, will, least, yeah. Right? They'll walk in and the staff will have their shit ready before they get to the register wow. type shit. But let's say a coffee on average is four bucks, right? Average it out because Starbucks is hella expensive. Yep. And let's say, how much does Folgers cost you? Um, eight dollars per cup. Per cup, eight dollars for like fourteen pots of coffee. Fourteen divided by shit. I mean, I'll have to do this math. Fourteen divided by eight times. Four, so it'd be one hundred and twelve divided by. So no, eight divided by. It comes out to about fifty cents a pot. So then what a pot would be what like eight. three so six cents a six cents a cup right six cents a cup right so let's say four minus that point six cents it's three ninety four mm -hmm. that's how much you would have been saving if you made coffee at home right mm -hmm. and don't forget about the coffee maker you have to buy that but you can buy a coffee that's maker. a one time that's I have a one a nice time one and, but I didn't buy it what do you have a Keurig yeah has I both. see a Keurig yeah, I see that both. shit I'm a that's a steamer and coffee everything. attic yeah but yeah. um you can buy one for a but that's like a one time purchase exactly so if you added that in add another cent. You don't even have to. You can get like one of those like canned ones. Like you can, like press them. Oh, down we have the a French press. press too. Yeah, yeah. but like right, three ninety four is essentially what mm -hmm. you'd be saving. Yep. And let's say you multiply like these fuckers come like every day, multiple times a day. So let's say three ninety four times three sixty five. That's one thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars a year they could have saved. Mm -hmm. Right. And let's say the market on average gives you seven percent return throughout your life. Mm -hmm. On the first year alone, that fourteen hundred would be fifteen thirty eight. Just that fourteen hundred you saved that first year. Second year would be sixteen forty six, seventeen sixty one, eighteen eighty five, twenty seventeen, twenty one fifty eight, twenty three oh nine. So this is what six years somewhere in there. Right? Yeah, I don't know, but you keep going, right? I'm on my fifteenth year right now, and I lost track. So I don't know if it's fifteenth year, this but. is how to make make money by brewing your own coffee basically yeah at home that's but because you're making that's not money. counting the gas money bro facts people no, be driving like two things. miles just to get there yeah true no oh yeah so much and they're buying food too like this shit right, right? here i'm drinking right here yeah literally like five bucks yeah but like i needed caffeine in my system there you go well that's it like i'm not this is it's not that's what i'm saying because you wouldn't be here talking the same way if you were just right. if you didn't like buy I was that. like I was like handing her five bucks and it was crushing my soul yeah I was like <sighs> oh when I buy I don't I mean I don't buy coffee really at all like I'll take it from school and right if they're not at the cash register don't <laughs> right <laughs> shout out to Stockton for actually no um I'm actually gonna um back myself up here by saying that I have poured a coffee and I walked past and they waved and they didn't charge me multiple times. So they should definitely get that figured Dude, out. Dude, not, not going to lie, gonna Stockton staff is amazing. They're amazing. They're great. They're amazing. I amazing have people. To say, like, to say at all. Like, they're so good. Like, they're such... Everybody's they're amazing. Nice. Everybody's like, nice. people know me. People know me, mm -hmm. Stockton, through yeah. the clout and stuff. Yep. Through what I've done, like... Who the fuck? Pardon. Through, like, what I've done, like, this, that, third. I've been thinking about running for a school of business president. I'm thinking on it. Go for it, bro. I'm thinking. Did you on talk it. to the new business uh, dean? Dean yet? I'm, I got. I messaged so, him on LinkedIn, but I gotta meet with him. I haven't. I'll let you know. I haven't, Maybe but I want to. So the thing is, I'm thinking about it because this upcoming year is gonna be a big year. Mm -hmm. I gotta, you know, get my internship, get this, that, third. So I gotta see if I'll be able to manage all that. Mm -hmm. Plus, I told you the investment thing. I really want to start it up. Yeah. Get it up and no, running by January when the new fiscal year begins. So it's easy to and keep track of shit. Ready to go, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, yo, if you guys need marketing done, my boy Sully here does everything. Hey. 
you know it. Um, they probably know, but if you didn't know, then that's what I do, folks. Um, other than podcast, he's a freelancer. Yeah, I'm a freelancer. Hire me. I'm actually, um, you know, working with. We'll be working together. Um, on this on this company you're starting, and I'm excited for that. I just got, um, another podcast as well that I can't really talk about, but I got one. I got another one, so I'm always just looking to expand and grow. Right. Because uh, by the way. You might have heard it before, but Instagram organic reach is done. Is it's over, really? What the hell is organic reach? So organic reach is the reach that you get to re to have your followers, the ability of your posts to reach your followers. So that ability now is getting taken over by Instagram's ads and their algorithms. So their algorithms are beginning to favor ads and beginning to favor people who post ads. Oh, so, so like when you go on like just random searches and click on a photo and keep scrolling. That algorithm is being like overtaken by like just Instagram ads. Yeah, at this point. Yo, shout people, out to Facebook. Every single person I'm, every single person I'm seeing on Instagram is saying, "Why are my posts working? Why are my posts flunking? Why am I getting? I was getting five thousand. Now I'm getting three thousand likes. Fucking like, Facebook. Nothing bro. makes sense. And I'm like, it makes perfect sense that they want to exactly. favor their own advertisements. Ka-ching, it's ka-ching. a business. Yeah, it sucks for us. Honestly, it's it sucks. yeah. Yeah. Listen. Th- listen. This is what you do. I'm just going to tell you right now you have two options. You have two options for this. If you want to stay on Instagram and make it worth something for you or your business or whatever, your brand. Celebrate. Number one is, well, that's already implied. But number one for marketing is you're going to do tested ads or you're going to pay somebody to run ads, which, you know, you can drop a lot of money and not get a lot of results for that. Um, Or you can. Or it can be the opposite. You can hit big and you could get an ad that works. Or number two. Or you could pay for like thousands of followers. Or okay, there's three options. Or number How two that work? I is never buy followers. That. Buy don't do that. Don't buy followers. You We're don't not going to do that on our page. No, I just don't, I wouldn't advise anybody to do it. Stupid idea, because you want engagement. You don't want numbers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So number three is a growth service. This is also part of what I sell at Cover Two um, Marketing. Uh, we sell a growth service that, like I was talking to you about, gets sixty thousand people to your page a month. It's just like we have people getting two thousand followers in a week. Of real people that will DM you and say, "Hey, yeah. I'm from the Netherlands." Like, dude, I, I love. Be- like, I got DMs from like Russia the other day in France. Like, it, it just blows my mind. You know? So those, just as a little aside thing of like, those are the three options that you have now dude, because the organic speaking reach of, is gone. I like hit up this dude. Right, he's not a big guy on Instagram. He talks about like dividends and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Yo, I'm starting this company. This, that, third, whatever." He didn't respond. Hit him up again last week. Didn't respond. Hit him up third time. He was like, "Dude, are you a bot?" I was like. Definitely a bot. <laughs> Never replied to him again because shit pissed me off. Like I was like literally like trying to reach out to this guy, you know, trying to see if you know we could like work something out, works together. Because he knows what he's doing. He has like you know from well, he, his page on Instagram. You reached out. Yeah. He probably judged you by your page. Dude, my page. It, there's no post on it. Exactly. He judged you. He thought you were a bot. You had no. Problem. I literally have one post and it's me pushing like two hundred something after my like. My leg injuries and shit. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. He probably just judged you real quick. He probably literally looked at your page for five seconds. Probably. But yeah, and then he hit me back up. Well, that's good. And I just don't reply, bro. Yeah. I for an eye. Fuck you, bro. Yeah, but... I'm going to send you this pod link, though. <laughs> yeah, straight up. And then you guys, now we're going to work. <laughs> but... Facts. Facts. That's crazy, bro. Hey, man. This is, uh, we're honestly, we're almost at like an hour. Really? Yeah. No, bro. I've had like 30 minutes. Bro. I know, right? No, shit's crazy, man. Um, yeah, these uh, I used to be, do like two hours, and it just ends up being too much. Right. You know, um, I just like to kind of keep it, you know, more just just to not go off on things you don't have to. Because I will, and I will just. Go We've been on sidetracked forever, so much. Ever, ever, ever. I'm, I'm glad that we got to some good shit, shit um, and we got to some real like finance shit too, because I. And you explain some things that are great to cut into clips and to give to people. Obviously, I didn't, yeah, I didn't get to fully explain like the rule of seventy two and stuff. But those are just right, little we'll snippets. People could go and research yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. No, yeah. people, like I said, like if you have been interested in learning about money in any respect at all, then you probably know some of the things that you know that you'll talk about. And uh, you know, it's it's common, but like you're gonna find the things that work for you, and like we're gonna. You know, with, with this company you're building, building, you're gonna, you know, be helping, helping a lot of people. So, and, and we'll, we'll probably, probably have you back on, and we'll talk about it once it's established. Oh yeah, yeah. What was that segment we were gonna do? I forgot what it was called. It's, it's in, in the, the beginning. beginning. I'll get it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
How did this we get is, that? <laughs> dude, I don't know. Bro. I was going to take a note on it. I had my notes out. Dude, and shit. you had your notes ready. I, I, I forgot, bro. On, I bro, forgot, man. I, I, had to, I had to pull out the calculator <laughs> real quick. Right, facts, there was some math right. on them. Probably, Probably said, said facts, facts about 150 times. times. That's, That's okay. okay. Um, Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, add another three. Might as 53. Well at this point. Yeah. So, that's, that's a, a podcast, podcast folks. Um, this, this is Bobcast. You're listening. Oh, or Bobcast or forecast. Or, uh, for, uh, forecast. For, the forecast. The forecast is Bobcast's be, forecast. Is, no, it's, it's going to be yours, man. It's, it's going to be yours, yours for the company. company. That's, that's what, what the podcast of the investing podcast is going to be. Oh, dude, yeah. Let me just. Call the forecast. Dude, while we're on this segment, real quick, let me just give you some forecasts, I think, on stocks, which I think are really good. Dude, go for it. This is gold, yeah. Yeah, dude. Fuck, what was it called? <laughs> yeah, what's the company again? Uh, Bobcast Forecast. So these are some of the stocks I think, you know, in my personal opinion, you know, I'm not financially certified or anything, but some of the stuff I think is like on the radar right now is CBS. CBS. News. Just Media. Just Norway, Norway, CBS, Norway. yeah. It's called CBS Corporation. Gotcha. The ticker is CBS. Okay. They're buying back Viacom. I don't know if that's how you pronounce oh, yeah. it, but like, yeah, Viacom, yeah. you know what it is, like Nickelodeon mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were MTV at some point. I think. They MTV's one of their channels. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I know they were a big ass company. Yeah, I think they have like a studio under them and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it used to be a part of CBS, but they split up, and now CBS isn't talks to buy them again. So I think oh, okay, like, I so I think like CBS shares might like jump. You want to keep an eye on them because it's Red October. A lot of stuff's going down. So right now. It goes CBS, for a, keep an eye on. Yeah, it goes for a pretty penny right now. Um, another thing, if you're into weed stocks, I've been looking into Aurora Cannabis. Aurora, I've heard a lot. ACB, mm-hmm. it's been hitting 52 week lows, but you know the way they you know innovate and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I don't not, not, I don't know shit about weed, but the way they innovate and the way the company sounds in general sounds amazing. You know, there's coffee shops popping up that literally sell brewed weed, mm-hmm. and you can smoke it. Like yeah. in the coffee shop, so you could get a weed, you could get a drink. I don't know where it is, but I, I read an article on it. I mean, they got them in, like, out west. And, like, Aurora Cannabis has been, like, fucking around and testing out THC, like, T-E-A-H-C type Oh, my God, shit. that's <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> bro, we that's did tea bags, bro. Thing, dude. Yeah, for real. No, that, that name is mine. Okay. That's well, the name I gave it. it. Like, this is what I'm calling it. Okay. But they've been testing out, like, weed and tea bags and stuff. Bro, the forecast. Yo, if they THC. steal that name, yo, I swear to God. Mark it down. What's today's date? October 15th, 647. I said it first. Yep. Uh, that's legal. That's legal. Copyright that shit. Bang. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But yeah, keep an eye on that. And the last thing I want to talk about. Yeah, t- dude, t- you can just rip, man. Whatever you dude, want. Let people yeah. know about. Oh, yeah. All of this stuff, we discuss in our monthly meetings that I have, like, you know, with just people that have been hitting me up to want to get into the club in general before you know it's legalized and stuff i still talk to people about this diamondback energy okay diamondback yeah another energy it's an energy company energy supplier i think they're gonna i think they're bouncing back huge okay so aurora cbs cbs and and diamondback energy thank you for that of course that's dope these people need to hear that because i mean I, I'm I'm in it. I got money in, but not a lot. Facts. And I just lose money basically because I don't fucking trade because I literally <laughs> just leave my money there. And I'm like, maybe in a year it'll go up. Right. And, nah, that's a yeah. Yeah. And so this is. I mean, this is just a start, man. Like once we produce content for the company, and like we're gonna be doing, so you're, so you're gonna be doing so much informational content. Um, and there's oh, gonna yeah. be a lot out for people on. Speaking like, of yeah, do. speaking of, I post stuff like this on my Snapchat randomly. Like, when I'm going through stuff. Yeah, where can Remember? people find you? I'll yeah, so you on Snapchat? Them. I don't even know my Snapchat. I'll anymore. put it in the description so you can add it, folks. Yeah, let me just air it out real quick. Yeah, go, no, go for it. It's it's Nihar52, N-I-H-A-R-5-2. And if you guys want to hit me up on Instagram, just know it's not a bot. I just have one post, all right? I'm an ugly don't guy, judge all right, dude? Don't judge hey, me. Hey, hey, he's bringing me <laughs> in to do the rebrand <laughs> and the marketing. Facts. <laughs> I'm going to this bitch up it's, quick. It's, the Instagram name is just NKP52. NKP52. Gotcha. It, it's your it's your boy, a young game boy in shades. Like right, I think I was like you three. I, yeah, <laughs> I was like three at the time. Perfect. Like, wearing shades. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, if you guys want, you know, any details on the club and stuff, hit me up. Make sure you vote for me if I do decide to run. 
There you go. And yeah, if you need some content done, my boy Sully here. You know it. Baby, we're just pushing that kind Exactly. Of I just dropped a video today, even though this is going to be out in like weeks. All right. But, um, I guess that's going to matter. Up. Go watch the sample video that Ex- I posted two weeks ago. If Facts. you're watching this now. Um, yeah, man. Thank you so much for of coming course. on. This was great, man. A perfect, dude. Anytime. It's so, that awkward under the mic. Facts. Right it looks like it's I'm about to ask you for a dance yeah. real quick. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? I guess that ends <laughs> Bobcast Forecast. Yeah, baby. Um, Bobcast Forecast, episode negative one. Episode zero. We're going to call it. Um right now but uh yeah nihar um go find all his infos in the description like he just ripped for us right there too as well um the dude's got a club um he's creating a company around investing as well and uh yeah he can help you transfer some of your savings into instead of buying all those coffees i mean some money investing is a form of saving it is saving yeah if you know what you're doing you could lose a lot but typically you know through different methods and stuff Mm-hmm. That you know, most people don't know about investing, but facts. That's why I started it, so people could share their knowledge, learn together. That's huge. Exactly. The per the why is everything for at least for me, and uh, I'm glad that you're doing it for the right reasons, man. And yeah, no, honestly, guys, like he just wants to help people, um, similar to what I do, like as well on my end and. I got I got things cooking, but uh, I can't talk about them yet. But he got that meat cooking for um, his meal prep. Got that meat cooking for them. Yeah, you know I got he steak eats meat. roast. Better just roast the steak right now. He right, eats ladies. meat for every meal. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going back to that. I'm not going. Yo, back. I need that clip. I need to redeem. Oh yeah, dude, I'll send it to you, bro. Um, <laughs> I I eat meat for every meal. Oh my god, yeah. Somebody yeah, he, no. So I'm you're never edit coming that, back. And somebody's gonna make a music video out of it. Like dude, I'm gonna make like those. Jump cut like you know those Snoop Dogs that. Yeah. I eat meat for every meal. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Or the wasted memes. Why do I even do this? To wasted. Myself? Why do I have people come on here to roast me? All right, guys. Yo, you are killing me for ACDC. Shut up. Facts. True. One of the greatest bands of all I'm time, right. and he's just. Why do you hate them so much? I don't hate them. I just don't think they're good. It's a difference. If I hated them, I wouldn't talk about them. All right, on that note, we're ending it for real this time. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to end it for 10 minutes, 15. Facts. No, that's the point of Bobcast, man. It's not like a structured thing. You just kind of rip rip and rock and roll and just see what happens. You facts, know? And we ripped it today. We Dude, talked I think about I've said facts though. like 64 times. We've probably said it. I've, if you... If, I alone have said it 64 if you're times. you're listening to this right now and you can count the amount of times we've said it, I'll give you free Bob merch of whatever you want. Dude, fuck that. If you could do that... I'll give you some... We'll give you a job. Well, we'll give you a role. Yeah, we'll give you I a don't, role. I don't got money for it. Hey, we don't got to... All right, we, we can't go into it too far. Exactly. We can't go into it too far yet. You know, but we'll talk you about it more. there's something in it for you and your Exactly, exactly. So, thanks they, uh, for watching. Thanks for listening. There'll be an incentive for there'll you. There'll be incentives. This is what we do on Bobcast. Nihar, episode, I don't know. But another episode of Bobcast, ladies and gentlemen. We're on all podcast platforms. We're also on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor App, Stitcher, and all the other ones nobody uses. Thank you so much for watching another episode. You did that in one breath. I'm out. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm a rapper, bro. Like a chocolate rapper? Kids. No. I'm on the BCs. I'm like, no, I mean chocolate. like a candy bar rapper. <laughs> <laughs>